What is good, R&B squad? This is Heart of Ruth. I trust that this message meets you guys in good spirits. If you're new here, we don't believe that you're here by accident. Welcome. We're happy to have you, and Jesus is even happier. I have a word for someone, and the Lord took me to two specific scriptures to accompany this word, and they are as follows. The first one is from Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 7, and it reads, For the Lord your God is bringing you into good land, a land with streams of water, springs, and deep water sources flowing in both valleys and hills. And then he took me to the first book of Kings, chapter 17, verse 2, and it reads, Then the Lord said to Elijah, Leave this place and go east. Hide near the Kareth Ravine, east of the Jordan River. You can get your water from that stream, and I have commanded ravens to bring you food when you go there. So Elijah did what the Lord told him to do. The Lord is saying to someone, oh, and by the way, I also had a dream to accompany this word. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I almost forgot. In the dream, these two people were telling me that their daughter, their baby daughter, that it was time for her to start potty training, but that she couldn't go. And she was the sweetest little girl. She was just there complaining about the fact that she couldn't go. And she even started complaining to me in her little baby language about the fact that she couldn't go, right? But baby girl couldn't go because of the fact that she wasn't sitting on the potty. She had to sit on the potty in order to go, but she wasn't even doing that, okay? So the Lord is saying to someone, the reason why things aren't going in your life, the reason why you can't see movement is because you're not following his instructions. And he's saying that this is specifically for someone who is good with his or her hands. You're very skillful with your hands, so you're talented when it comes to using your hands. I don't know, maybe you're a hairdresser, maybe you're into makeup, maybe you do arts and crafts. Whatever it is, your gift is in your hands, okay? Literally. And the Lord is saying that the reason why you're stagnant, just like baby girl in the dream, is because you're not following his instructions. Baby girl didn't want to sit on the potty, so she couldn't go. And you're not going where the Lord is telling you to go. And that is why there's stagnancy in your life. The Lord is saying to you that a soft life awaits you on the other side of your obedience. So listen for his instructions. Listen to what he's saying to you. And your gift is going to make room for you. Okay? I hope that bless somebody. I will be back with another word as soon as the Lord releases me. Take care.